Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back once again. Uh, thanks for joining me. We're looking at question number 11 on the, the Grade 11 uh, uh, Multiple Choice Contest, the Fermat paper from 2004. So hopefully you've had a look at this one. Let's dive right in. If X is located on the number line as shown, here's X down here, which letter best corresponds to the position of negative X squared? Okay. So this is um, this is the rare example of sort of a theory question on a multiple choice contest. This happens every once in a while, but this is and we have no idea what x is. It's just it's a theory question because it's how do how does squaring and minus and what does that do to numbers? Um, so we sort of just have to take stock. Where is x? X sort of looks like you know he's definitely negative because he's on the left side of of uh, zero. So he's between minus 1 and 0. So he's a negative number that is sort of less than negative, well, greater than negative 1, but he's, he's, zero, he's negative 0 point something. So a good way to approach this question, I don't know exactly what x is. I, you know, he's a little more than a half based on the picture, but I might guess that x, x sort of looks like X sort of looks like maybe negative 0.6. So in, in the absence of actually knowing what X is, taking something that looks close to them and, and doing the operation that they want us to do can maybe give us an estimate of what's going on. Okay. So uh, they want negative X squared. So this will be negative of negative 0.6 all squared. Do be careful when it's negative X squared, remember your order of operations. We do the square before we multiply by negative 1. So we'll have negative, and this will be uh, 0 0.36. Okay. So notice that that is closer to 0 than x. It didn't get sort of bigger and far away from, from 0. It actually got smaller, got closer to 0. And uh, this is where our knowledge of theory sort of comes in. Uh, squaring makes numbers, uh, sorry, I, you know, no, no reason to put a blank there. Let's just say, you know, x squared makes uh, numbers bigger. If the thing you put in is bigger, it has absolute value of bigger than one. It's more than one unit away from zero. But x squared makes things smaller. If the thing you put in is is closer than one unit to zero, well, the thing we start with, no matter how you slice it, you look at this x here. He is within one unit of zero. So squaring him should bring him closer to zero. Now squaring always makes things positive. So negative x squared should be negative and closer to 0 than x is. So this is very much our theory explanation. You could pick a number that you think is probably x and see what happens. Or you could just say, well, squaring a small number makes it even smaller, and squaring makes things positive. Negative of a positive is negative. And so no matter how we slice it, we would still probably end up at C, either because C looks, it's really the only thing that would be negative zero, uh, 0 0.36, or because, you know, you, you need something closer to 0 than X is, and that's either C or D, but you need it to be negative. So it's got to be C, no matter how we slice this. All right. So that's question 11, and uh, question 12 is the next logical step. I'll see you guys for that video next time.